Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffle Rowlett and welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today, we have ourselves a little bit of another rumor today. Now, actually, there's two rumors today that I want to cover, and these are both brand new ones. One of them popped up last night, and the other one popped up this morning. So these are fresh rumors, okay? These are some fresh, like... Fresh tomatoes, okay, if you know what I mean, like these are some brand new rumors, these are not old, I'm pretty sure nobody's covered them yet, um, maybe somebody has if they've been rushing them out real fast, but um, I thought it would be something fun to cover because there's two of them, if you do enjoy the video, drop a like down below, and of course, question of the day guys, what is in your opinion the worst, and I really mean the worst, mythical Pokemon and when I say mythical I mean specifically mythical not legendary so what is in your opinion the worst mythical Pokemon either way let's get into the actual rumors starting right here so this is the first one this was shared by uh, a lot of different people this was sent me my way by a few viewers and this was posted by Pokemon Sword and Shield News on Twitter who basically said that uh, you know um, you know, check it out. So, here's what we have, guys. Sword and Shield leak is what the anonymous person is calling this post. There's a picture of Zacian and Zamazenta, some sort of drawing, like a fan art, right there as well. And then he starts off saying, Hey, guys, this is some information on Sword and Shield that I came across. I did not plan on leaking, and I know it's not a whole lot, but it's something. Okay, so that seems pretty reasonable. It doesn't seem too out of the hands. Let's get into it. So, new direct on the th August 31st. Not all of this will be in it. So, what he's trying to say here is that what he mentions here, not all of that will be in the, uh, uh, in the new direct on the 31st now he doesn't mention here if it's a Pokemon direct or a Nintendo direct and also the 31st of August is actually a Saturday and I'm not sure how many like Saturday Pokemon directs there have been um, I've actually go to like Nintendo directs uh, if we search up like the actual list here on Nintendo's archive I'm not sure how many there actually have been I'm just gonna move this over here real quick sorry for the loud noise for a minute uh, but here we have the website right so here we can see that um, this was made on the uh, let me see the 11th um, which was this was during e3 so this you can't really count that one uh, this was on the 5th uh, of um, let me see this was on the 5th of was this on the May or June and this was June right so yeah this was on June uh, so this was June the um, I guess June the 6th, right? That's what that's what it was, right? I guess so. Uh, no. Wait, I think, yeah, June June the 5th, sorry, June the 5th. This was posted on June the 5th. Um, and this was made, like, this was like a Super Mario Direct here. So if you look at this one, this was made on a Wednesday, right? Uh, the one before that was on the 27th of February. If we go back to the 27th of February, uh, the 27th of February was also Wednesday, right? So again, Wednesday, Wednesday. So if we were to expect another Direct to happen, it would happen on the 28th. Of August, not the 31st. The 28th next week would be the most reasonable time. The 28th, the 29th, and even the 30th would make sense because that would be the uh, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Um, I mean, anything in between there before Saturday would make sense, but a Saturday just doesn't seem logical because I'm not sure they've done that really much before. This right here was on a Thursday, I think. Um, back, actually, no, this was on the on this. Let's go back here real quick. I have to back, go back a few months back to last year. This was on a Tuesday, right? So they don't tend to do them on on those sort of days. And if we go back here to 2017 for the previous Pokemon Direct, now of course there was other ones in between here, but we're not counting all of those because that would just take too much time. But if we go to the sixth um, last year, here we go. So that was a Tuesday as well, right there. So it just doesn't seem very likely that they would do a direct on the 31st. It just doesn't seem logical in my honest opinion. So I don't know about you, what you guys think about that, but let's continue. So a uh, new direct on August 31st, uh, new Galarian evolutions for Farfetch'd, Eridos, Darmanitan, Donphan, uh, Giraffe, Giraffarig, uh, Kingler, and Beberil. Now these seem like reasonable Pokemon. Eridos makes sense, Darmanitan makes sense, Donphan makes sense, Giraffarig makes sense, Kingler and Beberil make sense as well. Uh, new Galarian forms for Arbok, Meowth, Persian, Spinarak, Eridos, da da da. So wait, th wait, is this like. So evolutions for them, and then actual forms for Arbok, Meowth, Persian, Spinarak, Eridos, Daromaka, Dormanitan, Fanfi, Donphan, Krabby, Kingler, Bidoof, Bibarel, Farfetch, Giraffarig, Spiritomb, and Dugtrio. Now, Dugtrio already has a new kind of form um, in Alola, so that doesn't seem likely that they would give another one to the same sort of Pokemon. That makes no sense. That actually makes no genuine sense for them to do like honestly that makes like it just doesn't it doesn't register in, in some way it just doesn't seem like it's a it's a logical you know 
course of action to go down. It just doesn't seem to make any sense. But, I mean, I don't know. So, next one here. New Gigantamax form for Cherizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, Duraldon, Hydreigon, Tarantar, Volcarona, Aerodactyl, Komo, and Gudra. Which, these seem reasonable. Hydreigon makes sense to have one. Tarantar makes sense. Volcarona makes sense. Uh, Aerodactyl makes sense. Because all those Pokemon uh, are kind of like uh, Pokemon that, that kind of, you know, are based somewhat on, like, you know, actual... Um, what are they called again? Uh, this is word for, like, uh, these... Uh, not mythological creatures, but, like, these... Uh, these specific creatures that are like Japanese, um, like uh, Japanese monsters. I'm not sure what they call specifically, but like, it's like um, Japanese monsters. Uh, I can't remember. Kaijus, thank you. There we go. Let's remember that on top of my head. Uh, Kaijus. So these are all based on Kaijus. You've got Hydreigon, you've got Tarantar, Volcarona, Aerodactyl, all seemingly based a little bit on that sort of stuff. So that those would make sense. Um, to have Gigantamax form, so that seems reasonable. Now, about the story, just that Oleana is mo the mother of Sonia and daughter of Magnolia. Also, there is a character named uh, Raihan rivaling with Leon as well as Sonia, which would seem pretty reasonable. In terms of new Pokemon, I just remember a horse-like Pokemon. I think it was Steel, but not really sure. It has one stage evolution, uh, and that pre that's pretty much uh, wraps it up. See ya. That's, that's all this guy had to say, not much else than that. It's pretty short, uh, pretty, pretty bite-sized, pretty straightforward. Not too crazy, not too out of the ordinary. Now, of course, the biggest issue here for me is the actual date, the 31st of August makes no sense. If it's a Nintendo Direct, then it makes more sense. If it's a Pokemon Direct, less sense, right? Because if you look at, like, Nintendo Directs, there was one here on February the 13th. Here we go back a little bit here to February the 13th. Let's just go back. This, this, uh, was it this year? Uh, the 20, yeah, 2019. So 2019, let's go down here. February the 13th was it Wednesday actually as well. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Um, hmm. And then, then, then there's a Pokemon one on Wednesday as well. So, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. That day doesn't make any sense. I mean, I still think there is a potential for a Pokemon or a Nintendo Direct this month. Like, it's still highly possible, highly reasonable for it to happen. But I think it's more likely to happen in September or October. Um, and since we're, like, so close now to the actual release of the actual games, right? We're so close to it. It makes sense for them to, like, you know, show it in, like, in, in, like you know, upcoming times. It makes sense for it to soon show up. So, I don't know what to say, really, beyond that. I think that seems like the most reasonable, you know, explanation. Overall, that's all I could gotta say about that rumor. So let's jump over to the next rumor, the ladies and gentlemen. This is a very different kind of rumor. I will say this is a very different kind of rumor. So here it is. Now this was posted by somebody, and uh, the the post name was SMC, and then it, it's apparently it's meant to be the music for the from these games. Uh, apparently, all of the music and like uh, the whole OST, you know, from these games, which is kind of interesting. So disc one. Title screen, Prelude to Adventure, Galar Region theme, a championship match, Runoff Village, uh, and then of course this could also, if this is true, right, if this is all the music that's in these games, we can actually get to know some of the names of these, like, all these cities, right, so Runoff Village, uh, you know, would be the name of the, the starting town, uh, Choose Your Starter uh, theme, then Hops theme, Battle Hop theme, uh, Caught a Pokemon uh, sound effect, Obtained a key item, uh, Route 1, Battle, Wild, Wild Pokemon, Victory, Level Up, Obtain an item, Touchline Town, Touchline Town, which sounds pretty weird. Uh, Leon's theme, Hurry Along, uh, Professor Magnolia's Lab, Sonia's theme, The Pokemon Center, Recovery, Cafe, Shopping, Cooking, Meal Complete, Photo Mode, Boutique, train, uh, train Station, Trainer's Eyes Meet Youngster, Trainer's Eyes Meet Last, Battle Trainer, Victory Trainer, um, Professor Magnolia's theme, Obtain Dynamax Band, Pokedex uh, Evaluation, You've Just Begun, uh, Bicycle, Bicycle Water, <laughs> oh my god, Team Yell appears, Trainers Eyes Me, Team Yell, uh, Battle, Team Yell, Victory, Team Yell, On the Train, team, The Wild Area, The Wild Area Drought, The Wild Area Rain, Snow, Thunder, Thunderstorm, Foggy, Obtain the Berry, Battle Max Raid, Battle Gigantamax Raid, Caught a Max Raid Pokemon, Victory Max Raid, then Disc 2, Center Mark City, which again, another city name, uh, Hotel, Salon, Rotom, Phone call, Chairman Rose's theme, uh, Gym Challenge Opening Ceremony, Poke Jobs Menu, Poke Job Complete, A New Job, Move Deleted, Gate, Route 3, Trainers eye, uh, Eyes Meet on Hiker, Poke Fan, uh, Center Mark Mine. So I'm not sure that would, I guess, would be up there with like uh, the whole like the area where you have like the um, the giant like monuments of the Dynamax, the Doug Trio, right? Uh, or Diglets, I guess, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so, Trainside meets BD's theme, Battle BD, Tur uh, Turfield Town, or, yeah, Turfield Town, Gym Lobby, Pokemon Gym, 
Train as I'd meet again. Battle, 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 uh, battle, tension, <laughs> battle, crowd, wild. Victory, obtained a gym badge, obtained a TF, obtained a Pokemon egg. Pokedex evaluation, you're on your way. Marnie's theme, battle, Marnie, route 5. Train as I'd meet beauty, sightseer, evolution. Congratulations, your Pokemon evolved. Uh, Floodlight City. Uh, Floodlight Lighthouse, so that would be the, the city where Nessa is a gym leader. Uh, then Pokemon of the Pokedex Evaluation, don't give up. Trainers Eyes Meet, Black Belt. Trainers Eyes Meet, Psychic. Oleana Steam, alrighty then. Disc 3, a Gold Box City. Gold Box City, okay. Gold Box Palace, uh, which I guess would be in the middle of the of the whole place, like the one that's like really rustic and whatnot. Uh, Glar History Museum, a Tale uh, of Two Legends, uh, which might be a reference to maybe if you like, if you interact with the statue of like one of the, like the hero with like the sword and the shield that we saw in the recent trailer. Uh, maybe that's what that's about. A Trainer's Eyes Meet Royal God, uh, H Trainer, Gold Box Labyrinth, um, Corn uh, Corner Arc City, Corner Arc City. Uh, then Trainer's Eyes Meet Swimmer, Penalty Town, uh, Team Yell Boss, Route Ten, Scoreboard City. Really, Scoreboard City, Pokedex Evaluation, Flagpost Woods, Flagpost City. Uh, so Flagpost, really, this is some generic names. Uh, Grandstand Gate, a Grandstand uh, Metropolis, the Rose Arena, uh, Victory Ceremony. I'm trying to skip through some of these, like because there's like a lot of them, like really, so so many of these. Um, Vel Whale of Victory, the Chosen Hero, Eternity's Awakened, Battle Chairman Rose, Truth of the League, Victory League Association, Battle League Association, Trainers Eyes Meet, etc., etc., etc. Uh, champion title match, champion title match, champion title match, a new champion, a dream fulfilled, Hall of Fame, celebration, departing, staff credits, the end, battle Mewtwo. Um, and then there's a lot of battle clock, battle eye, battle tower, Pokedex evaluation, wonderful, uh, receive battle points, battle, and yeah, Looker's theme, another chapter in Looker's Tale, Jester's Lesson, Battle Spot, Water Trade, GTS. So if this is all like meant to be the, the o uh, OST from this, I've got to say, this man, if this is fake, then you really put a lot of effort into a fake post. I've, I've just got to say, like, you, you really really went the the unnecessary extra mile to do this like you really went out of your way to do something that you did not need to do like like let me be let me be frankly honest like you really went the extra mile for no particular reason which is interesting to say the least it is quite an interesting thing to do uh but beyond that aspect right if we look past that that you know that aspect of things uh on top of that this is a very interesting rumor i've got to say if it's true then damn this is a massive leak but if it's fake, then you just put a lot of effort into this, so I don't know. And this is, this is the is this sound and all that stuff. Uh, seems a little bit short, to be honest. I thought it was going to be longer. Uh, I thought it was going to be for ages, but no, it was way shorter than I expected. Uh, though I did skip a bunch of stuff, so I don't know. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on this one, guys? What are your thoughts about this subject? Do you think it all this all sounds real, fake, etc.? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. My name's been Ruffle Rowlett, as per usual, and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out.